this early in the matchup. Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! oh. Jesus! Oh. Oh. oh! That was that! Low reward lifestyle, but he has been able to stay loose, stay, stay limber, stay healthy as possibly can be to not only rise to the tops of the Mexican ranks, but rise to the tops here in the United States. And I believe he is also competing in his first Shane Chai Memorial Cup, as well as Bro Keller. We've got a couple of debuts here at the Cup. Who wants it more? Who's going to make the first mistake? Who's going to capitalize? I think Jack Evans. You know, there's some similar builds. Both these guys in great physical condition, although I think Bro has some reach on Evans. But Evans has the high flying capabilities. And just, just by the look, it looks like Jack Evans may have a little bit more muscle, but as, oh, cover. Only a two-can. As you pointed out in the past, Bro Keller has that Ichabod Crane type frame. And it's not an insult. No, not at all. It's a wrestler's body. You can hook. Whoa! Just kick the taste out of Bro Keller's mouth for Jack Evans. You can hook a limb, you can shoot, you can take home a papa, a papa. Look him in out of place with that kind of body. It's a wrestler's body. Oh, Jack Evans, it looked like he was trying to shoot that. Tornado DDT, but now he's hooking him. Wow, look at this. All the weight dispersed from Jack Evans. How strong is Bro Keller? Oh, just snapping that neck, followed by that super kick right to the dome. Both legs hooked. This could do it. Very deep cover. Bro Keller knows exactly what he's in store for with Jack Evans and knows exactly what he's competing for, making that deep cover. And, and you know, it's one of those things where Bro Keller has the advantage of watching a lot of tape on Jack Evans. Jack Evans has been around in a lot of places, a lot of YouTube studying can be done on Jack Evans from the heavens. Bro Keller, a little younger in his career, not a rookie by any means, but there's not as much footage on it. Not as much in, oh, that leg drop right to the back of the head. There's those long limbs again. Bro Keller, definitely not somebody to sleep on. He's a former MCW Tag Team Champion, along with Joe Keyes. Producing destroy, hold on. Taking him over, does Bro Keller hook both legs again. I like what Bro Keller's doing with hooking both those legs. Trying to end this, as, as we said, ha keeping everything in the reserve. Right. Yeah. Trying to take it home early. As, as much as you want to give the people a show and have a great match, it is just not show a, out. Just show out. It's not in your best interest because if you win, you still have to compete in the finals with five other individuals. That is six wrestlers vying in the finals in our main event for the Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup. Not to mention the heavyweight title on the line later with Kakoa and Ken Dixon, as well as the tag team titles on the line. Oh! oh! I don't know if he got all of it. He may have gotten enough with those knees in the back of the cover. All you need is just three seconds, and Bro Keller was extremely close. And Jack Evans has yet to get on the page. We have yet to see anything. I don't know if it's jet lag. Of course, he's coming from the West Coast. I think he may be used to it by now, but... Well, yeah, as he said, he's coming from the West Coast. Bro Keller from, up from uh, Pennsylvania, so Thought maybe he gets a little bit more rest. Hold on, the cover. He's switching homes on us, too. So His ho hometown, living currently in oh. As I said, I have a little bit of research on him. Why would he brag about that? Yeah. yeah. I wonder why, with that name. Oh, fair enough. Where's that back elbow? Look at that from a, from a knee, knee down stance. Jack Evans able to fight up. How impressive was that? He was on his knees a second ago. Oh, Jack Evans, he can take you down from any position, from the ground, standing, or high flying. A lot of people don't know that. Jack Evans is a little bit of a shooter. He can he can get in there and grapple with the best of them, hook you and take something home with him. There again, that strength, that vertical advantage by Bro Keller. I like this. Keller, keep going for the cover. Bro Keller is realizing that this match will be won on the mat, and that is why he's going for these consistent covers, Ricky. And as you saw, there wasn't really much in that kick out either. Jack Evans just barely rolling his shoulder up with that two count. Bro Keller be able to put away the high flyer. Oh! Back elbow, Jack Evans landing on his feet. I thought he over-rotated, but no, landing on his feet and just took him out with that back elbow. It's very rare that Jack Evans will make a mistake when he's flying high. Where he's most comfortable. Where he's most comfortable. I mean, this guy, I think he may have invented the 630 or the 680. I don't know. I can't count that. Leave it to 630. <laughs> and then educated feet, as Jim Ross would say, from Jack Evans. Uh, 
Well, I don't know about you, Brent, but I think this is maybe a little unwise this early in the matchup. Oh my no! Both men down. You may be right. I believe Jack Evans' shins caught Bro Keller in the head. Well, that would he be can enough. Uh, yeah, if he can roll back in the ring, he can get a get a win by count now. It don't matter how you get this win, you just want to advance, but I think you were right. I think you may have jinxed Jack Evans. You said it wasn't that smart, but I think he may have gotten worse of it too. Jack Evans moving slowly, moving gingerly. Let's see if he can capitalize. This is the first time he's had the upper hand and advantage. Oh, oh, that was there! That was all there! The cover! That springboard senton just dropping all of his weight onto Bro Keller. Oh, man, just flattening the bro. I mean, the fight in Bro Keller to be able to kick out of something like that. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know what Evans was going for, but it's rare that he made the mistake. I think Bro Keller's so uh, close to the ring. But whatever he's in right now looks extremely painful. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, the Bro Keller. There's those long limbs again. Uh, oh, wow. The, the strength that Bro Keller's just showing off a little bit. We're, I mean, Bro Keller's really showing us something. We've never seen this display of strength. Not the, at this level. That fireman's carry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus God. Running DVD into the corner. May have just spiked Jack Evans on his head. Your neck, your cervical spine can only take so much. There's a reason they call it a dime stack. It can be toppled so easily. But Bro Keller, Jack Evans, fighting for what they know to be the most important prize in MCW right now. And that Brent, Shamrock Cup. And Brent, I believe this is Bro Keller's first singles match in MCW. Oh, oh wow. Well, he's doing damn well. I was gonna say, he is sh really showing off, showing what he can do. It's so hard to find, like to figure, Jack Evans looks like he's coming from the west and he's coming from the east, you know what I'm saying? Coming from all directions. There's no way to prepare for Jack Evans, and he is up uh -oh. in the heavens! Got it, 450! Two! Here is your winner, advancing to the finale, Jack